Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Legends. That's Boat. And that's a monkey. And we're gonna go inside here. I suppose I should show off the other sub-weapons at some point. I'll be playing the vast majority of the game with just the vacuum because money. Heck yeah, money. All right, Mega Man, let's get started. Sure thing. Surprise? Not really. I upgraded the support equipment to the boat. Oh. I should be able to act as your spotter from here too. I wonder if that old fella used to be a digger too. Good old Wily. Nah. Look at all that money. I do tend to play this game, or I should say games in general. I have a hard time, if you give me multiple weapons, choosing between them. Yay. So especially something here, like, you give me all these different neat weapons to use, and I have a very hard time knowing, like, I should use this one here, or I should use this one here, and I don't like just randomly choosing them. So even if I have an offensive sub-weapon, I tend to just fall back and use my buster always. Ah. And as such, it helps better for me to use a more support type buster sub weapon thing, like the vacuum. So that's really hey, why I'm going to be using this for the vast majority of the game. I'll try to show off the other ones, though. I do have every intention of at least making all of them. I want to try to upgrade all of them, but we'll see how long that takes. I know a decent way to farm money, because it's going to be really expensive. Um, that was me mapping out the room, by the way. So I do know a way to make, make money, but we'll see if how long I have to farm for that to actually get it. Oh man, old hover jets. That is going to give us something that is exceedingly nice. I like nice things. They let me do other nice things. Was there anything else back there? And the turtles show up once again. First, I'm gonna run back here. Did I just not get that one block on map, or is there something there? No, I just didn't get it on map. Alrighty, so we're actually done in here, and we can move on. These guys are a pain, mostly because they take forever to kill. They're not that hard to kill. They're really only a threat if they get the jump on you. If they catch you off guard and get you cornered, then it's a little bit harder to deal with them. Get all of it before that guy charges me. I want all of your monies. I realize these things drop refractors. But, are these the refractors that were powering them? I, I mean, I suppose that would make sense. Oh, also, um, I realized this just last time I was goofing around, but if you run back towards the camera and hit circle, the camera flips around, and that is really useful 
And I want to know why I didn't know of this sooner. Hey, you! You're a turtle guy. I still want to call them crocodiles, and that doesn't make any sense. They're more- they're much more like turtles. Or crabs. I kind of want to call them crabs, too. I want to call them everything that they're not. Hey! Wasn't somebody talking about how we should find a lady to give a ring to? I'm not gonna go through that door right now. I have a pretty good idea where that door goes, and I'm going to explore first. Because there's also a door right there. And then there's also a little area we can explore down here. He's telling me there's nobody behind me? Maybe. Take care of him, take care of the crab guy. Spelunking at its faintest. Is that him seeing me or yeah, I guess it was. We good? It's been said if I'm going to try to 100% this game, and I don't really know what exactly constitutes. What did you find? Starter From blog. Readings, it looks like a starter key. Good that guess. That means there's probably a big refractor in here somewhere. Good probably. luck. I don't know what exactly would constitute a hundred percent, but I'm going to do a lot. I'm going to try to do a lot of things. Now, both the doors up here that go to the top go to the same room. It's a big room. Mega Man, what can you see up there? Water. I'm not picking up anything on my monitor. I don't know. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hmm. I love the flowing water on here. Like, even on the walls and everything, that everything is animated. Even the walls are animated. I really like Can I hit him? Yes. Now, she said that she has a bad feeling, but I purely believe that there can't be anything wrong in here. So I'll just get down and... Walk around for a little bit. Ah! Where'd he go? Ah! Yeah, um, don't go down on the floor in this room. You can kill him. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can shoot him even if they're invisible. But, yeah, there's a couple invisible dudes down there. So don't jump down on the floor. And if you do fall on the floor, get off of the floor. A joint plug. That is actually going to be, like, super useful. Hmm, we may need to backtrack. Because up there is the other door what we could have come out of. Is there anything else of note in here, really? Was it like great? Cause all the water. I get it. I kind of like it. You'd think there'd be a grate on the floor somewhere, though. Is there really even anything else of note up here? There's an invisible guy. I don't really see much else. Um, there's a door over there. And there's a couple little things we can go to over there, so... Backtracking! Right back in this room, there is the little passage leading off to the side. That'll take us over here where we can get stuff. I heard a sound. Ah!
Yep. Of all the dudes that are invisible running around down there on the floor, one of them is standing right on that platform. So, just in case you thought you were safe. Yay, money! Yay, another starter key! Can I make this jump? Yes. Can I make that jump? Can I, like, jump up there and grab onto that? Not even close, not even close, get up. Crap, 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 get up! Mega Man, you idiot. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna have to come around the long way on that. As I mentioned, we can go around this way. And go up and around. And that's do this door, that's door, that's door, will take us out to that place what we couldn't get to before. Yeah. And there's an item. Hey, that's all of them, isn't it? Oh, well, let's get the crap out of here. Jump, Mega Man. Jump, you fool. Yeah, as far as, like, 100%ing the game goes, I don't know exactly what would constitute 100%ing the game. I intend to get and show off all of the sub-weapons. Oh, this room. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. No, 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 no. Quit auto-aiming at the dude like five million miles in the background! I think I'm safe here. Your attacks don't quite reach me. Yeah, I can't hit him. I can hit him now! Don't attack. Don't attack. Stun him out of his attack. Yes! Okay, um, I should be safe enough to walk forward. There we are, okay. Um, this room is a pain. A, you cannot walk through this water, so you're just kind of stuck here. These guys have a stupid amount of range in their attack. Okay, I got my laser. Do I have anything that boosts range by a crazy amount? Um, range plus four. It'll give me no energy, but maybe I can snipe them. Ha ha! I have greater range than you! Give me your money. As long as it's one on one, they're really not that bad. Can you hit me? I think you may be able to hit me. There we go. As long as it's one on one, they're really not that bad. You can should be able to hit them hard enough to stun them. You know what? I'm just gonna say now that that door over there leads forward, and I'm not going to bother killing all of them. These doors, on the other hand. What did I even have equipped here before? I had something with energy. Attack one, energy two. No, that's range two. Attack one, energy two. I'll buy that. No, I equipped the wrong one! Cat, dang it! Not the buster unit, the blast unit. Yeah, that one. I've got no range, but I can shoot more, and I'm alright with that. Both the doors on either side of this room take you outside of it into the connecting dungeon areas, though. And there's not all that much we can do out here. There's maybe a couple little items we can get, but not much. Mostly because we still cannot do anything to those. 
can pop over and get whatever's over here, though. Rapid Striker! That sounds like a thing. Rapid too, don't care. I actually find when putting together my own little, like, things, when building my own buster up, I tend to completely ignore Rapid, and Rapid is actually useful, a lot more useful than I make it out to be. I tend to ignore some range, too, though. Like, I like a little bit of range, but I don't need a huge amount of range. And then this one also leads outside. Yeah, though, as far as what constitutes 100%, um, I intend to get all the sub-weapons, show off all the sub-weapons, maybe max all the sub-weapons? Well, that didn't go anywhere. There's also a lot of little quests in town, and I would like to show off all of those, too. Um, I want to get all the little, like, present things. Um, yeah. Well, either way, I'm, um, I'm going to ignore all of them. Because fudge fighting all of them. They're a pain to fight, it takes forever, yada yada yada. Well, you're interesting. Nice big old room you got in you. Maybe it's some kind of dynamo. Oh well. I'm sure it's not important. Hey, it's that my friend. I'm this right. There's a huge refractor there. I can see it. We should be able to repair the flutter with one that big. Ooh. I don't mind that Roll, like, pops in every now and then to say something. I think what I don't mind is that she states the obvious. It's like, hey, that's a refractor! Do you see a refractor? Shut up, Roll. But the stuff like the, hey, with a refractor that big... Like, that's good information. I'm alright with that. Eat it. Security devices? Be careful, Mega Man. I don't like the looks of this. I'm sure we'll be fine. Go back and watch that little cutscene th again, though, and I'll say one thing they did in this game that I really, really like, it shows a lot of attention to detail, is look at his mouth. That's a texture. They textured his mouth specifically for that angle that they knew the camera was going to look at him, so it looked like his mouth was open from that angle and you could see inside and stuff. They do that a lot with Teasel, and that's like friggin' awesome. It's like I never would have thought of to do something like that, and it's really great. Mega Man! I'm picking up a Reverbot signal. It came out of nowhere. It's a big one. The readings are going off the scale. Well, we're bound. Um, circle straight for the win. He really only has two attacks. He will dive at you, and then after he dives at you, he will jump back towards the center of the room, where he does a shockwave attack. Now, if you shoot him, you can't hurt him. All your attacks just kind of go bing off of him. You have to jump up in the air and shoot him in his head.
That's pretty much the fight, though, and this guy, though, he hurts. If you don't know exactly how to, like, dodge his attacks, if you don't know what attacks are coming, he'll probably hit you with an attack or two, and you can probably only take about two or three of his attacks before game over. Oh, heavens, I jumped way too early. It looks like you damaged Yep, Keep slowly up, but surely. Man. Once you've got the once you've got the battle down though, he's really not super hard to take out. You can stun him, hit him enough and he'll kind of like flinch for a moment. When like technically I suppose I don't even have to like circle strafe him, just dive out of the way when he dives at me. But I like circle strafing. You kind of have to jump though, so even the lock on isn't super helpful. The auto! Ow! Okay, yeah, so I can take maybe two of his attacks. The third one will kill me. Good to know. Man, that guy was doing a mean slide there. Wait, you're not gonna... Wah! Ow! Okay, I got him off pattern. Crap! Got it for a reason. I'm really surprised that he hasn't actually, um, I need to get him back on pattern. I need to play more defensively. I can jump maybe three times. If he flinches, I can get another jump in and then just wait for him. He really isn't that hard a boss. There we go. I'm not picking up any Weaverbot signals anywhere. It looks like you got him. Heck yeah. He's really not that hard a boss, but you have to play carefully, or he can mur and will murder you. Heck with this room. Heck with you guys. Now, since I did leave the dungeon to go out into the little support ruins... Wow, what was I... I was shooting one of the invisible guys, I think. Well, that does not fill me with hope. But since I did leave the sub-ruins to go to the little support dungeon type thing... All the enemies have respawned! And fudge all of them! We've got everything that we can get in here, I'm leaving. Up all of y'alls! Now, we did get a couple little interesting items in here. You must be getting hungry, Mega Man. A little. I made some apricot pie. Are you up for a slice when you get that? Heck yeah. Now, we did get a couple interesting items in here, but there's one item in particular we got that's, like, gonna be nice. Super nice. And we have escaped. So we got a monkey right there. We got a lot of money and we got a lot of loots. And we have a refractor what may be able to repair our flying machine. So until next time, everyone, we'll go talk to Roll, we'll go get stuff built, and we'll go see what we can do with what the things that I got we got when doing and things. Until next time, everyone.